Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Dear 8th grade students to our lesson today Today we are going to listen to some uh, recorder, recorders and I believe that listening is a very important part of the four skills that every student should achieve and adhere very uh, carefully and uh, to practice, yes, to practice all of his time since listening is the first step for speaking. اليوم حنتعل نحن ندرس أو حنسمع عدة فقرات استماع. المهم بالنسبة لنا إنه نفهم إنه listening هي الخطوة الأولى لحتى نتقن speaking. So before going to listen to the paragraphs, we have a new vocabulary we need to learn or to practice in the context. في عنا شوية كلمات بنحب نسمعهم ونشوفهم بالأول قبل ما نبدأ عملية الاستماع. Are you ready to do so? Okay, let's go. Period four, activity one. Climate. Export. Import Probably Produce Quality Quantity Spaghetti Wheat American Brazil China India Italian Japan Kuwait Russia Thank you as you see, we have a lot of new vocabulary, or some of them is in you. Now let's go to hear this conversation. في عندي حوار نسمع ما بين عدة أطراف, and we need to fill the gap depending on the conversation. بالاعتماد على الحوار بنعبي الفراغ. You will, you, you are going to hear. The conversation twice. حتسمع الحوار مرتين. One of them without answering and the second with answer. Okay? So please be careful. Period 4. Activity 2 and Activity 3. 1. Do you produce all the parts for these cars here in this country? No, no. We import lots of them from other countries. And we put everything together here. Then we export most of the cars to other countries round the world. Two. We grow different kinds of wheat in our country. A lot of it is to make bread, of course. But we also grow a lot to make pasta. Do you grow much here in your country? No, the climate isn't right for it. It's hot and there isn't much rain. 3. I've heard that we will probably import some coffee from Brazil this year. Is that right? Yes, but not much. Just a small quantity. Well, we can be sure that the quality will be very high. It's some of the best coffee in the world. Okay, now again, you'll hear the recorder with the answers. But please stop the video for five minutes or three minutes as you like. Try to answer by yourself. Give yourself a chance to answer the or to fill the gap with uh, depending on yourself. And after that, check your, your answers. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Period four. Activity two and activity three. 1. 
Do you produce all the parts for these cars here in this country? No, no. We import lots of them from other countries, and we put everything together here. Then we export most of the cars to other countries round the world. Two. We grow different kinds of wheat in our country. A lot of it is to make bread, of course, but we also grow a lot to make pasta. Do you grow much here in your country? No, the climate isn't right for it. It's hot and there isn't much rain. Three. I've heard that we will probably import some coffee from Brazil this year. Is that right? Yes, but not much. Just a small quantity. Well, we can be sure that the quality will be very high. It's some of the best coffee in the world. Okay. Now check your answers. And let's move to this exercise. Here we have three persons. Every one of them talks about himself or his or his country. The first guy says, "I'm from." We produce a lot of. أنت عليك أن تكمل الفراغ اعتمادا على الاستماع هو من وين وماذا تنتج دولته. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Period 4. Activity 4. 1. I'm from Russia, and our huge country is partly in Europe and partly in Asia. We have very cold winters, but our summers are warm, and so our farmers can produce a lot of wheat. 2. I'm from a country in Asia, India. We have well over a billion people. The climate is very different in different parts of this huge country. And in the hills, in the north, it's just right for growing tea. It's very good quality, and we export it all round the world. 3. I'm from Brazil, in South America. My country is very large, and we produce a lot of different things. Perhaps we are most famous for our coffee and we export this to countries in every part of the world. Okay, thank you. Now we have this paragraph, and again we need to hear to it to this paragraph one without answers, and the second with answers. So please be careful. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Period 4. Activity 4. Now, as you can see from the map here, Japan is a long, thin country, and it is situated here in the far east of Asia. It is to the east of China and to the east of Russia too. India is a long way west and also farther south. Because the country is so long, the climate is cold in the north and hot in the south. There are mountains almost everywhere, so the farmers cannot grow all the food that its 126 million people need. Instead, Japan imports many kinds of food from other countries, wheat, for example. Now, although the country cannot grow much food, it produces huge quantities of good quality cars, computers, TVs, cameras, and other things. And it exports these to other countries round the world. Okay, now let's answer. Period 4. Activity 4. Now, as you can see from the map here, Japan is a long, thin country, and it is situated here in the far east of Asia. It is to the east of China and to the east of Russia too. India is a long way west and also farther south. Because the country is so long, the climate is cold in the north and hot in the south. There are mountains almost everywhere, so the farmers cannot grow all the food 
that its 126 million people need. Instead, Japan imports many kinds of food from other countries. Wheat, for example. Now, although the country cannot grow much food, it produces huge quantities of good quality cars, computers, TVs, cameras, and other things. And it exports these to other countries round the world. Okay, now check your answer. Check your answers, please, okay? Let's move to period number five. Here we have some question. We are going to hear the questions. And after that, we hear three paragraphs. We need to answer the questions regarding to or depending to the paragraphs. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Period five, activity four. The food and drink quiz by Julie Good. What do you know about the things you eat and drink? Try our quiz and find out. One, which country produces a lot of your tea? A, India. B, Japan. C, Brazil. Brazil. Two, we use wheat to make bread. Which country produces the most? A, Canada. B, the USA. C. Russia. 3. Which country produces the most olives and olive oil? A. China. B. Kuwait. C. Palestine. Answers. 1. A. Brazil grows a lot of high-quality coffee but not tea. We do not import tea from Japan. Theirs is green, not black. When you next go shopping, look at some packets of tea. You will probably read that the tea is from India. 2. B. Canada and Russia grow a lot of wheat and export some, but the USA grows and exports huge quantities. Perhaps you had some bread for breakfast this morning, or spaghetti last night. Well, the wheat was probably American. 3. C. In China, olives are not part of the culture, so farmers there do not grow them. Kuwait is a desert country, and the climate is bad for olive trees. There are not many olives from there. However, Palestine's climate is just right. We produce and export a lot of olives and olive oil, and the quality is excellent. Okay, thank you. So what do you think? Which country produces a lot of your tea? Yes, I believe. Yes, I guess India. Yes, I believe India according to the recorder or to the message, India. We use wheat, or I'm sorry, we use wheat to make bread. Which country produces the most? Yes, I believe. USA which country produces the most olives and olive oil you are right I believe Palestine okay now the same passage please go back to the same passage and read carefully give yourself a chance and answer the question here People in Japan do not like tea. True or false? Absolutely false. Okay. The most important thing that India exports is tea. 
Yes, you are right. Canada produces a lot of wheat, but not as much as America does. You are right. Kuwait has a climate like Palestine. No, absolutely no. Palestine produces more olive oil than all the other Arab countries near a state. I leave this for you. Give me this answer. Okay? Now it is the time to say goodbye and thank you. Have a nice day.